Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and uh, this is the start of your, your new textbook. So I'll be helping you throughout the school year. You can find all your lessons down here at MrMathBlog.com. And so when you go to MrMathBlog.com, you'll see a site that looks like this. And I guess I can make it bigger here. Let me make it uh, this picture a little bit bigger. So when you get to this site, we're in uh, the third grade lesson. So you'll see here's Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and all the way over here, this is the last uh, class I've been teaching so far, so third grade right here, so you have to click this link, and when you click this link, you'll see all kinds of third grade lessons in there, and so this is um, uh, Lesson 1, and you'll see the rest of your textbook in there also, and uh, here's our Common Core strand, so how can we use properties to explain patterns on the addition table? Okay, so here's the addition table right here, Okay, so we're going to uh, talk about some patterns right here. So everybody's familiar with the addition table. So this is a plus sign right here. So 0 plus 0 equals 0. Let's go down here. 4 plus, let's go to 4 plus uh, 5. Okay, so if we just go 4 and then go over to 5, 4 plus 5 equals 9. Okay, so this is how we can use the addition table. Let's try one more here. Let's go down to 7 plus, uh, let's go to 7 plus 8. Here's 7 plus 0. 7 plus 1, 7 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here's 7 plus 8 right here. 7 plus 8 is that 15 right there. Okay, so a pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. And so we're going to talk about patterns. So the order helps us predict what will come next. We can use the addition table to explore some of these patterns, and that's what we're going to do in this lesson here. So you're going to need uh, some crayons, specifically orange and green. And then we're going to look across each row and down each column uh, and what patterns do we see. So I've enlarged it here. So look at these patterns right here. Look uh, across each row. So we'll just pick this row right here. Okay. So a row goes sideways. We'll talk about that in just a, in just a second. It goes left and right and columns go up and down. So we'll talk about that in a second. So here's 3 plus 0. Here's 3 plus 4. Here's 3 plus 5. Or, I'm sorry. 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2. So notice how these numbers just increase by 1. Uh, here's 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. How about down here on the 7s? 7, then it goes 8, 9, 10. So they increase by 1 with the rows going across. And let's try 5 here. So 5 plus 0, 5 plus 0, and then... Uh, uh, it goes to 6, 7, 8, 9. So it looks like they're increasing by 1. So they increase by 1 going to the right and going down on these on this addition table. Okay, so shade the row and the column orange for the add end 0. Okay, how I remember which ones are rows and which ones columns is I think of a Greek Colosseum. Here's a picture of a Greek Colosseum. And it has these columns that hold it up. The columns go up and down. So this is a column right here. This blue one is a blue column. And this yellow one is a yellow row right here. Okay, so we're going to shade the row and column orange for the add end zero. So here's the row for zero. We're going to shade that orange. And here's the column for zero. We'll shade that orange also. Okay, so there they are shaded orange right there. Okay, and then uh, compare the shaded squares to the yellow row on top and the blue row on the side. What pattern is there? Okay, well, let's, let's do the yellow row on top. Can you see that this is the same, this is the same, 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, all the way to 10 and 10. So it looks like when we add 0, we get the same numbers as the yellow uh, row right here. And then the same goes for here. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 0 is 3. So we get the same numbers here. So any number added to 0, we just get the same number. Okay? So they're the same number when we add, uh, add to 0. So what happens when we add 0 to a number? The sum of any number and 0 is that number. So right here, 6 plus 0 is 6. Over here, here's uh, 8 plus 0 is 8, or 0 plus 8. I'm sorry, this is 0 plus 8. Um, and we'll talk about this. So, so this is called the identity property when we add 0. The identity property of addition states that the sum of any number and 0 is that number. So, for example, 8 plus 0 is equal to 8, or 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. Okay. So now we're going to shade the row and the column green for the add end 1. Okay. So Here's the add in one, the row, 
and then here's the add in one for the column right here we're going to shade those green okay so there it is shaded green right there and then what pattern do we notice okay well um, uh, there's a couple of patterns here so so here is zero whoops I didn't mean to do that so here is uh, uh, zero plus one right here zero plus one equals one here is um, uh, uh, one plus one right here one plus one equals two here is two plus one is is three so what patterns well there's a few patterns so each green number is one more than the number in the blue column or the yellow row okay so here three plus one equals four right here four plus this one right here four plus one is five five plus one is six so each of these green numbers is one more than the the blue column right here or one more than the yellow row right here see how six six and five right here uh, so here's five plus this one right here equals six and then six plus one is seven so when we add one it just increases it by one so what happens when we add one to a number it becomes one more than the number so for example, 7 plus 1 equals 8. Here is 7 plus 1 equals 8. Okay, this is 7 plus 0. Here's 7 plus 1. So it just is one more. Okay, all right. So now let's shade all the sums of 5 orange. And what patterns do we see? So we're going to shade this column right here orange because this is my add end of 5 right here. And we're going to shade this row right here. And then what patterns do we see? Well, there's all kinds of patterns right here. So each row or column begins with five and then increases by one. Okay, so look at this row right here. This row starts with five and then it increases by one. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way up to fifteen. And this column starts with five and then be increases by one. That's one pattern. Here's another pattern. Or each number in the add in five is five more than the blue column or the yellow row. Okay, so look at this number right here, seven. This seven is five more than this yellow two. Okay, or how about this 13? This 13 is five more than this blue eight right here. So eight plus five equals 13. All right, how about here? This would be five plus eight, eight plus five is 13, okay? And so the, the other one is this, check this out. Five plus zero equals five, and look at this, zero plus five also equals five. Look how these numbers match up right here. Well, look, these numbers match up also right here. 5 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 5, okay? And so how about this? Uh, here's 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 5. So here 5 plus 1 equals 6, and so does 1 plus 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7, and so does 2 plus 5. And if we just kept going with that pattern, ch check it out right here, you guys. Here's 5 plus 10. 5 plus 10 equals 15, and 10 plus 5 also equals 15. So that pattern keeps happening and happening right there. And so uh, so we're going to write two add-ins for each sum of 5, and the first two are, st are stated below. Okay, so what's 5 plus 0? Here's 5 plus 0 equals 5, and then here's 0 plus 5 equals 5. 0 plus 5. 5 equals 5 right there, okay? So they both equal 5. Okay, let's do a couple more right here. 5 plus 3. 5 plus, here's 0, 1, 2, 3. Here's 5 plus 3. Okay, that equals 8. All right, and then uh, let's do uh, 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 also equals 8. Here's 3 plus 5 equals 8, and here's 5 plus 3 equals 8. That's pretty cool. Let's try another one. 5 plus 9 and 9 plus 5. 5 plus 9 is way over here is 14, and then 9 plus 5 is also 14. All right, well, that's going to lead us to what's called the commutative property, okay? The commutative property says this, and we'll talk about this. So what patterns do we see? Well, look at this, you guys. 5 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 5. And then 5 plus 9, which is 14, it's the same as 9 plus 5. So if I just uh, flip these around the plus sign or reverse them around the plus sign, when we add the same two numbers, we can reverse the numbers or flip them around the plus sign, and then we get the same sum. So it always ends up being the same. So the commutative property states that you can add two numbers, in any order and get the same number. And so when I drive to work, you guys, I'm driving my truck and it's called I'm commuting to work. Have you heard of that phrase before? People commute to work. 
Well, this 3 and 6 sign are commuting around this plus sign. So this 3 and 6 flipped over. They commuted over. And so 6 plus 3 is also equal to 9. 3 plus 6 equals 9 and 9 plus 3. And that's called the commutative property of addition right there. All right, so now let's shade a diagonal from um, left to right, orange, and we're going to start with the square for one. What patterns do we see? So I'm going to start with this square right here. We could have started with this one, but I'm going to shade this diagonal right down here, orange right here, and then what patterns do we see? Okay, well, look at these numbers right here. Here's one, three, five, seven, nine. They're increasing by two. One plus two is three. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So they increase by 2's. And look, what else? They're, they're all odd numbers right here. So 1, 3, 5, 7. So they go up by 2's, and they're all odd numbers. All right, let's, let's shade a diagonal from left to right again, and we'll start with the square for 2. So I think I started with this square for 2. I could have started with this one, but let's do this one. And we're going to shade this diagonal going down here green right here. Okay, so there that is right there. And what patterns do we see? Well, these also increase by 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So what patterns are they? And they're all even numbers right here. So they go up by 2s, and they're all even numbers. All right. So just remember that even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, and odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, or 7. Okay, so, um, uh, so let's write addition sentences for the shaded boxes over here. So we're going to write even or odd under each add end. Okay, so it says uh, 6 right here. So here's 6 right here. So this is going to be 4 plus... 2. So 4 plus 2 equals 6 right here, okay? And then is 4 even or odd? Well, that's even, and this is even, so, so I know 6 is even, so it looks like an even number plus an even number gives us an even number. Let's try this. Let's go find 7. Okay, here's 7 right here. So we're going to plug in 3 plus 4 right here, okay? So 3 plus 4, and this 3 is odd, this 4 is even, so check this out. We get an odd number plus an even number, and it ends up becoming an odd number. 7 is odd. All right, let's try a different one. Let's try like 8, you guys. Let's find 8. 8 is 5 plus 3. So 8 is 5 plus 3. So 5 is odd, and 3 is odd. So an odd plus an odd is an even number. Okay, so if we have an even plus an even, that's even. If we have an odd plus an odd, that's also even right here. So if they match, if they're both odd or they're both even, uh, then they end up being an even number when we add them. The only time we get an odd is when we add an odd plus an even. Okay, so that's the pattern that they want us to see. So, so explain how we know that the sum of two numbers is going to be odd right here. Well, the only time we got an odd number is when we added an odd plus an even, or an even plus an odd. So when you're adding numbers, when one number is odd and the other number is even, then you'll end up getting an odd number. Otherwise, you get even numbers if they're both odd or even. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And if your parents let you, uh, would you guys click like? That would, that would help encourage me and subscribe. All right, and then don't forget, all your lessons can be found at, at Mr. Math Blog. Take care, everybody.